Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Wilderness Springs. This will be uh, this will be our little backdrop today for this uh, this little overview. I've got like really really cool um, eight or nine pieces to go over with you guys, and uh, if if this I wanted to go ahead and do this right now because the uh, it seems like over the weekend the uh, the toolkit it re like really ramps up. I think people work on this stuff all throughout the week, and um, they get ready for kind of like their big weekend reveals. So we'll go ahead and get this out now um, on Thursday or what I call Friday Eve. And then hopefully this weekend, um, the, the, the workshop will start popping off again and uh, we will do another review this weekend. And also, I have not forgotten about the, uh, the Disney park. I've actually, if you follow me on some of the other socials like Instagram, Twitter, I have actually started the Tomorrowland entrance. We're going to leave Fantasyland behind just a little bit and come over and at least start a little bit on, Fantasy, or, uh, on Tomorrowland. And I should have enough done by Saturday, I believe, to, uh, to you know, enough to constitute a video. So, yeah, I haven't forgotten you guys on the Disney Park. Uh, just kind of not haven't, not, haven't had a lot of game time this week. But uh, we'll definitely have some more this weekend, and we'll get back into that park because I know a lot of you guys are wondering and wanting an update on that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump right in with uh, one of our go-to animators all of a sudden, Castaway, with his uh, Jurassic Dino T-Rex. And as soon as I saw this guy, I think of, like, the Gatlinburg, like the Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride, or excuse me, not Gatlinburg, it's actually... Um, it's actually in Pigeon Forge, which is the little town before you go up into Gatlinburg. Um, but the little Jurassic boat ride that has this uh, this really cute, kind of funky, quirky T Rex design. Um, you know, as you kind of make your way through the little through the little river boat ride. But my point is, with Castaway already doing this and the Theme Maker Toolkit, um, you know, not even two weeks old yet. If this is the direction we're going with the animatronics and dinosaurs in particular. Um, I mean, just imagine five, six months down the road, I mean, two months down the road, if Castaway is already able to pull this off and make this look, you know, this cool, get this animation going like this, imagine the type of dinosaurs and the animations and the stuff that these guys will be doing, like I said, four or five months from now, going into spring, it's going to be absolutely, um, it's just, it's just going to be insane, and Castaway has actually made this uh, recolorable, so you can, there's a lot of different things you can do with the big guy here, and, uh, definitely wanted to showcase this off, uh, I just, this just got brought to my attention, like, maybe a day ago, this, I think that's only been on the workshop for maybe a day, maybe half a day, and, uh, really, really cool start, and like I said, if this is an indication of our, uh, of our dinosaur models to come, I am pretty stinking excited for that. So uh, moving on next, we've got, oh, for all my interior design guys, I know a lot of you all have been, uh, you know, like your restaurants and your hotels and your need for some, um, for some, you know, interior shots. Look what Delgus has got here. This is his um, wooden sofa piece and even the texture on the cushions. Check this out. You can almost see, like, see how it's got that little, like, cloth kind of, little bit of cloth texture rivets really really gorgeous piece of piece of furniture and that wood just looks really 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 awesome you could definitely use that um, not only in a hotel room but a lobby or a restaurant waiting area uh, you know just cafe waiting area all types of stuff um, really really versatile piece of furniture right here so really really cool and that uh, that one is a big shout out to uh, Delgus for kind of diving into some of these more interior uh, pieces for us. Next up is the uh, Possessed Wooden Table by Pixelated. Another another person that is really, really stepping it up in the animation department. And watch this table blast. If you've got you like a little haunted... See? <laughs> if you got you a little haunted facade, little haunted ride going, Pixelated has set you up with a very creepy exploding table so for some reason as soon as i downloaded this i started thinking about that trailer you everybody seeing the the possession of hannah grace <laughs> i don't i don't know why i just i think of when i see this breaking table i think of exorcist exorcism it's uh but that that is really really cool and coming up next another one we're going back to castaway real quick because he is not just known for that t-rex now 
He is also known for an ancient Egypt camel. <laughs> so yeah, check this out. Like I said, this is another one from Pixelated. Get hit. Let's get this camel put down. And I like just the like look at the little subtle movement. Watch the little tail flick. See? Camel's just kind of you know, just kind of taking it easy, just taking it all in. Not too crazy, not too sporadic. He's not he's not dancing around. But um, like I said, guys, pixelated, or excuse me, the ca a castaway, um, the future right here. I could, I could put this camel down in the safari park right now and instantly have a new animal enclosure right with the camel. Like if we could get one that maybe kind of did a little figure eight or, you know, maybe just kind of walked in a line, turn around, came back. I'd be set. Really, really awesome model by Castaway. And the next one, we're going to have to go down really, really tiny because our 3D Mist has got us a very cool, talking about interiors again, check out our little Street Fox coffee cup and little dish. Set that right here on the table. See if I can really zoom into this. At least get as, I think it's about as close as I can get, but is that not awesome? Look at the little Street Fox emblem. Put those all across your cafe on the tables. Really cool. Shout out to R3D Mist for that little coffee cup. And, oh, another thing we need to do is we need to get us a little, we need to get us a little wall set up because we have some geekism action going on. Actually, these are pretty hot off the presses as well. He just put these up a couple hours ago. And uh, yeah, just the, um, the the way... Actually, let me just let me get this up on a big wall here so we can really take a look at these. The Like as far as being able to put these in the backstage areas or, you know, even little areas where the guests, you know, just where they don't need to be or even like putting them on... Um, you know, putting them on chain link fences. Let's see here. And Pixel West and I was talking about, we think they're going to come up with a, uh, we're, we're, well, we actually talked to um, Shantae on the forums about uh, just the, uh, the, the extreme lag that we're kind of, a lot of us are facing um, since the, uh, since the 1.8.2, I believe, update. Um, and they, they are addressing it. Uh, uh, Shantae said that the, uh, the developers are aware of it, and uh, they're, they're definitely looking into it. You know, obviously, we, we think it's theme, theme Maker Toolkit related. Uh, Shantae said that, you know, that's what, that's what they believe it is. It's a little finicky, a little kind of hard to pinpoint, you know, all of the causes of it. But um, they are definitely working uh, to deploy a fix. So don't think it's just you. I mean, you guys know me. I usually fly all around these parks and um, e even even me, like, you know, here in Wilderness Springs and in the Disney Park and even kind of e even emptier parks, um, I, I am facing quite a bit of lag. So anyways, we'll move on to the safety equipment sign and just look at the quality of this. That is his safety equipment must be worn. Here's the no entry staff only. And... A very believable first aid sign. We'll do that one. So yes, big shout out to Geekism for kind of coming in. Really, really cool that that he's almost like coming in and filling a lot. Like it seems like his, um, his a lot of his designs on this, as far as the Team Maker Team Maker Toolkit goes, it's kind of a lot of nitpicky. Um, needed stuff like a lot of the small stuff that that you that you overlook, but will just so much add to the realism. Kind of like going back to his uh, the, to his cash register, and now these little safety signs and little backstage signs. Real, real emphasis on the uh, on the realism with uh, with the geekisms 
um, designs here. So really, really cool on that. And you guys go pick that up and check these out um, on the workshop. And uh, yeah, let's see. Coming up next, we have the chain link fence. That's up near the top by Grandpa Misery. And the one thing I like about this chain link fence is it, the, the, the actual the chain on it and all of it is, uh, it's really, really exaggerated. And that's what I like. Like you can really tell it's a little bit kind of on the larger side. Yeah, here it comes right here. See, it's a little on the larger side, but I love the, just the whole exaggerated, uh, like just the thickness of the fence. And it, like, you know, if, if you wanted to combine the, the T-Rex stuff, or I could take these to my zoo, right now the you know the the safari park zoo and bam i've got you know planet safari chain fences right here so big shout out to grand uh you know grandpa misery for uh bringing us in you know different variations of the uh of the chain link fence so this is more like i said a thicker wider version really really cool all right coming up next we've got the steampunk artificial flooring really awesome texture on this even when the sea, like especially when the sun shines on it. And that is by Artificial Artistry. And uh, they are doing a really awesome job. When I was cruising around here earlier looking at these pieces, I thought even like this right here, check this out. This could be a really cool, um, even like a, like a path separation piece. Kind of put that under there, slide that to the edge. And just real quick, see how it gives that just kind of cool, kind of that breakage of the pathway right there. So that is that is really, really cool piece. Shout out to Artificial um, Artistry on that. Really, really digging that theme punk floor. And uh, we're kind of coming to the end of this little list, but one piece that just popped up on there and has amazing texture on it, um, and it's actually Stinger Winger. Is uh is coming up with a lot with with some with some really cool. I'm starting to see that name pop up on the workshop, and uh, but check this out. It's like a fem the female. Uh, let's see, Lady Buddha statue. Check this out. Look at the texture on that. Really really cool import that came over, really really well any of you guys that are doing any kind of cool kind of temple rides or you know just any kind of gardens you're doing anything like that this will be this would be a stellar centerpiece and look how much larger it like really it really has a presence because you can see like compared to the people awesome awesome statue i was hoping stuff like this would start popping up because i am a a big statue placer if, if you guys come up with cool statues i will be finding a place for them i can assure you that so so big shout out to uh to stinger winger on that and that is my last piece for right now guys oh and i have to give another shout out to uh to sir maverick 34 with the uh with the lettering uh, the really cool eagle font uh you know planet coaster lettering i was able to bring in and and uh, actually put that on w uh, Wilderness Springs kind of main facade there. And even back and way out, you can see the uh, see the lettering pretty well. And, uh, you know, what I, I said on Twitter earlier this week that, you know, this wasn't a dig at Sir Maverick or anything because this is just how um, this is how he had to do it. But I was thinking it would be really cool if if uh, if Frontier could come up with a way to actually make sets you know, of these pieces, because if you go to the workshop right now, um, Maverick has kind of had to, um, he's had, like each one of these letters of the alphabet, he has had to import in as separate little models, you know, um, so it would be really cool if he just could be able to do one alphabet set, and that would be, you know, Sir Maverick 34's alphabet set, and you would have all of your letters um, right there together to kind of pick and choose from, so um, you know, because right now, like I said, his letters are, are individual. So, you know, you got like, what, 24 uh, separate little downloads that you have to do for all of his, um, for the awesome Eagle Font letters that he's brought in. So a lot of different stuff like that. We're giving him a lot of feedback. Like I said, as far as the lag and, uh, and all of that goes in the larger, par uh, larger parks and with the higher guest counts, uh, like I said, do not fear they're working on a fix for that, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a big, a bigger substantial update 
um, will be coming out for that. And also, in other news, as far as the uh, as far as you losing pieces go, I reached out to Sam, uh, Sam Denny, in the middle of the week, and he got back with me today. And I asked him because a lot of people were saying me and uh, Beyond Drew and Paulsley, um, you know, um, a couple of us were talking uh, fishermen. Uh, what happens if you download a, bl- a blueprint and, you know, like we've got it, like, you know, say Miss Nebula, I've got her gulpy sign right here. And she ends up removing that gulpy sign from the workshop. You know, for whatever reason, she gets rid of it, takes it off there. People were saying, well, will it disappear from my workshop in my parks? Um, no, it will not as long as you stay subscribed to it in here. So no matter what Miss uh, Red, no matter what she does, as far as removing it from the workshop, as long as you have it here in your collection, you'll never lose it. Now, if you click the little button here to unsubscribe from it and she takes it off, it's gone. It's done for. So Sam said, if you got a piece that you really, really like, one of your favorite pieces, don't unsubscribe from it because essentially you are at the mercy of the original creator. They get rid of it. It's gone out of your park and, uh, you know, any, anywhere you've put it, any blueprints you've added it to. And that's another thing he kind of wanted to differentiate from. Um, matter of fact, I'll just tell you the message um, that he sent me as far as blueprints go. Um, and I didn't even think to ask him this. So big shout out to Sam for mentioning this too. He said, um, also, if you upload a blueprint and it contains a theme maker toolkit asset that gets deleted or has been deleted, you'll get a notification when you download it and the asset will not be included. The blueprint can still be placed, but just the, the asset won't be in it. So if you see a piece out there, you know, like if you, if you're, if you get up, like say you build a regular wall piece but you add theme maker toolkit pieces to it and you create it as a blueprint and upload it to the workshop if the creator gets rid of the theme maker toolkit asset it gets rid of it in your blueprint upload as well so when people go to your workshop to download the blueprint they can stay they will get everything transferred over except for the the custom asset that you downloaded that the original creator removed so you're kind of at the mercy of that if you go making a bunch of blueprints with other people's theme maker toolkit asset pieces you are at the mercy of them removing it from the workshop and other people not being able to get your blueprint how you envisioned it because half of it could be gone so keep that in mind too but anyways guys yeah i will get on out of here hopefully we'll do another theme maker toolkit update this weekend um, like I said, hopefully we'll see some more pop up on there and, uh, yeah, we will just kind of take it, take it from there. So big shout out to all the creators, um, coming in this week and getting, and just putting in this work. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Thanks you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me. Give me a big thumbs up if you end up enjoying that video and subscribe for more Planet Coaster content and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.